I know it's on your to-do list. It's been on my to-do list and probably your to-do list from last year and the year before. It's on everyone's to-do list. Let's organize your photos. Welcome back everyone. It's so nice to see you again. Today we're going to take a look at organizing our photos with albums inside of photos. For this example here I have not organized anything at all. This is starting from scratch. Um, so when I open up photos I'm brought to all of my individual photos here and I do have the pre built in organization from Apple with the moments and the collections and the years the options that we have up here. Um, but for the moment, let's just break it down and take it one step further. Over here on the left hand side, we have this my albums selection and to the right of it, we have this little plus sign. So if we click this little plus sign, this allows us to give three different choices. We can either create an album, a smart album, or a folder. So let's just start with a regular album. Now, when I do regular album, the first thing it is asking me is, what do I wanna call that album? So for me, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type in Ice Castles 2019 and press return on the keyboard. So essentially, I have to kind of think about how I want to organize my pictures. So I'm creating a, an album to further categorize the photos that I already have. And so when I'm going through all of my photos, if I go back to here, uh, first and foremost, if I ever want to know how many photos I have, if I scroll all the way down towards the bottom of photos, it will tell me there's 735 photos and 19 videos. So that's kind of nice to know how much you have. But through those 770 or 735 photos, I want to quickly be able to narrow down the pictures that I'm looking for. So I created this Ice Castles 2019 album so that I can quickly organize these pictures. Now, really, really easy uh, way to get them in there is we just select them and drag them. So if I click and hold on one picture, I can go over and you'll notice as I hover over that album, I get a little plus sign with the green circle, I let go, and now when I select that album, there's that picture. If I go back to photos, I can select multiple pictures. I could select this one and hold down command on the keyboard and select an additional one and this one and this one. So really quick, whenever you're selecting multiple photographs, there's always multiple ways to do it. If I want to pick and choose this picture and that picture and this picture in a non-sequential order, I need to command the computer to do that. So I'm going to hold down the command key on the computer and as I do that, I can now be a selective about the photos that I want to select in my selection. So then when I click and hold now and drag, I'm able to drag all four of those photographs over into that album. I let go. When I click on that album, there they are. Now if I go back to photos, if I want to do a whole range of pictures, so let's say I want every single picture from this first one down to the last one. If I click on the first one or the last, it doesn't matter, I need to hold down shift on the keyboard. So if I hold down shift on the keyboard, I, after I've selected the first one, I then go select the last one and it does a sequential order of everything between those two points. So that's really nice also to then just be able to click, hold and drag and put those photographs into that album. Now you'll notice when I do that, if you've already put a photo in your album that you weren't quite sure that you already uh, did it or not, it's not going to keep on adding that same uh, picture to the album because it already knows it's there. Same thing if I delete a picture out of the album, it's not going to give me any warning because I haven't actually deleted the photograph, I've just removed it from the album. So if I go back to photos where those pictures actually live, here are those two pictures, I can then re-select them and add them back into that album. Now there's other ways to add photographs um, to there as well. I find this the easiest way to add to an album. But let's say that I wanted to start with a selection of photos first instead of creating an album first. So right above these Ice Castle pictures, we have this concert. And I wanna add all of these photographs to this concert. So I'm gonna select the first one, hold down shift on the keyboard, select the last one. And if I go to the menu bar, I can go up to file 
and you'll notice that it gives me a few different choices. I can do a new album with the selection of these 30 photos, as well as a new smart album or new folder. So I'm just gonna do new album with selection, and right off the bat, it automatically creates that new album for me, and it just wants me to re retitle it. So I'm gonna say Zoe the band, and there's that album for us. So really, really quick uh, to create those albums. Um, something cool about the albums too is when you when you have this this organization it makes it really really easy to showcase them to family or friends it gives you options in the top here to do show as memory and it kind of groups them all into a memory for us or if i go back to the album again so if we click on slideshow it gives me options uh, for these different types of themes of how the slideshow would look and uh, you can kind of play around with these also. Just a nice way to showcase to these photos if you're sitting there with grandma or mom or dad or brother, sister, whoever it may be. And a uh, really nice way to showcase to someone. Uh, they have these different themes as well as music that you can either choose from iTunes or you can do their pre-selected theme songs as well. Not a ton of choices, but hey, it's better than nothing. Now, as we move along, uh, the other options that we saw were uh, smart albums and folders. Now, I'll come back to smart album in a moment. Let me go ahead and do folder first. So, a folder, um, this is where you kind of have to think about how you want to organize your pictures. And I've seen it done so many different ways over the years. Uh, it really depends on what works best for you and how you want to do it. I have seen it where um, some people create a folder based off of a year. So you have the folder labeled 2019, and we could do that. And instead of doing the ice castles and naming that album 2019, I could just label it ice castles, delete 2019, and I can drag this album into this folder. Because let's assume that I go to the ice castles every single year, so I could have a folder based off of year and then put the albums as they were like events or things that I did, adventures, whatever it may be, inside of that folder. And then respectively, I would have the kind of a, a same folder every single year. I could do that for holidays or birthdays. Whatever makes sense to you. There's no right or wrong answer. Um, so 2019, uh, we could do ice castles. I could also go back to the photos and let's say, um, Let's see, okay, here are some winter pictures of my boys. A side note here, you'll see a lot of pictures that I do. I do a lot of photography on the side, and mostly you'll see a lot of my two boys. Um, they're kind of my guinea pigs. Uh, I, they're my mini models, and uh, they're really a lot of fun to work with. And as you can see, they are definitely not camera shy. Um, so <laughs> you're gonna see a lot of them here. But let's say that I wanna put uh, these, these boys, my two boys here, these kind of crisp winter themed photos into an, uh, a folder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a folder and we'll just say winter. Now if I go back to photos and I select these photographs I want you to see what happens um, when I drag these pictures into that winter folder. Notice what it does it creates an album not it doesn't put the pictures in the folder. So just keep that in mind. Photos are organized in, in albums. Album, albums are organized in folders. You can't actually put a picture inside of a folder. It just doesn't work. And we have to retrain our minds to, um, of how photos wants us to think because when you're working with all of your documents and everything outside of photos, we store everything inside of folders. So it's a little bit different when you're working inside of here, but always know that your pictures are stored within albums and those albums get organized into folders to create more depth of organization. So here I could do uh, winter 2019. Um, and I could have another album that says winter 2020 or winter 2018. So as far as the, the example, actually I would do something like that. So everything that I put in this folder is winter and then here's everything from 2019. Or I say these are winter pictures and instead of putting this album inside of this folder, I would put it in the 2019 folder because these were taken during 2019. So there's no right or wrong way. It's whatever makes sense to you. So 
just know that albums go into folders and folders are kind of the, the top hierarchy of your organization. Now we can also take this folder and put it inside of the folder. So now we can nest a folder within a folder and then it gets super organizational chaos. And I mean, if you wanna do that, by all means. Um, me, it, that's a lot of work and I just, no. Nah. There's, there's so many other tools that allow me to organize right off the bat that I don't necessarily get that granular with my photos, but you certainly can. It's there if you need it. Now, the last option here um, for albums is smart albums and smart albums are really kind of cool um, they're going to automatically pull in photographs based off of the criteria that you set here so here um, one thing that i like to do is create uh, an album of photos i've retouched or i've re or i've edited so i could say edited pictures so I can go through these categories and as I go through here, I can say, okay, the photo is or is not. And here it gives me all sorts of different choices and I can say edited. So now notice it says five items matched. So it tells me that there's five photographs and I can click okay. And so now you'll notice on the left hand side, it has this little gear option because I can't just drag photos into that, that smart album. The smart album is automatically gonna pull based off of the criteria that I've set. So if I click on edited photos, here are those pictures that I have. Now let's go ahead and, and, and show how this works. If I go back up to photos and I went, um, Let's say I just open up, uh, let's see, let's take, uh, let's take this picture and let's say we want to change it black and white. So I can go ahead and do edit and we can just go to the black and white settings and I can play with the slider here and I have further options and I can play around with this also, but I just want to show you that as soon as I chose done here and I go back over to my edited photos in my albums, that picture is now going to appear in that smart album. So the smart album is always gonna automatically pull based off of the criteria. If you ever wanna change that criteria of what you set for it, you can either right click on that album and, and do edit smart album, or you can go through the menu bar here and you can do file edit smart album also, and that allows you to go ahead and change those parameters that you set before. Now let's go ahead and create another smart album um, and as you look here, there's so many different options. Um, I could say maybe I want to pull in all of the, the photos that were taken with my iPhone. This is kind of helpful because as the years go on, you know, you may get a new iPhone every year, every other year. So you want to say, show me all of the pictures that I took with my iPhone 6. And that could have been three years ago. Um, so we could go to camera model and we could say, you know, either includes or does not includes or is. And when you go through the, the options here, it's gonna show you every single photo that was, that has a camera associated to it. Now, unless these pictures were scanned in from a scanner, something like that, you're not gonna have a camera associated to it because it was scanned in. The, the computer has no idea what camera took that photograph. But for me, it shows my Canon camera as well as my iPhone 8, and this is probably um, my drone is my guess um, for the FC 300 model. So let's do first and foremost iPhone. So you'll notice as soon as I say um, camera model is iPhone 8, it's going to pull every single photo from my that was taken with an iPhone 8. Not necessarily my iPhone 8, but if someone else sent me a picture, it would have that information also associated. But now I can label that smart album iPhone 8 pictures and we'll notice that there's 75 matched items with that I click OK and now over here on the left hand side I have my new smart album with iPhone 8 pictures and now it makes it very very easy to find every single photograph that was taken with my iPhone 8 so smart albums are really really cool uh, it makes it really really nice to further organize all of the photos that you have on top of all of the other photos and memories and favorites and and organization that photos comes with 
So overall, that is albums on your Mac. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button below and we'll see you next time.